Do you utilize Canva? Well, JotForm is now officially an app within Canva. Let me show you. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Canva and JotForm, there's no need to switch between the two platforms anymore because JotForm is now officially an app in Canva's app store. Now, the best part about this is if you are familiar with JotForm, everything is exactly the same. You can still collect payments, signatures. You can even have complex approval workflows or conditional logic. So let me show you how. Over on the left-hand side, you can see I'm in my Canva dashboard. So over on the left, I'm going to go ahead and choose the apps section. We'll do a quick search for JotForm and you can easily add it to your Canva. Now, for this example, I'm going to be utilizing a Christmas wish list. I'm going to go ahead and jump into that design. And for this design I went with a basic presentation style. Now over on the left hand side of my screen we can see right down here that JotForm is already installed and you can see that we have two different tabs to work from. We have the templates and we have my forms. So under templates you can see that we have over 10,000 templates to utilize and search for but we can also use this filter option right here. So we can search for the classic forms or we can have the card forms. Both of those are going to be available and you can also also search through all the different categories as well as all the different languages as well. Now one thing about this is if you are currently not a JotForm customer, you can still utilize this and play with it to see if you like it before signing up for a free account. Once we jump over to my forms, I'm already logged in, but since this is going to be your first time, it's going to ask you to log in or to create a brand new account. Now if you are a JotForm Enterprise user, you'll just click on the JotForm Enterprise option at the bottom of the login screen. And of course, you'll do your normal authentication, but once you're good to go, you will see all the forms that you have created right here. Now, if you're a brand new user, you'll want to create a brand new form, but you can see I have my Christmas wish list right here and it's two different pages. This second one is going to be blank and this is where we're going to be embedding our form. Now, over on the left, you can see all of my forms. Now, I've already created the form, but let's say, you know what? I need to add something to my form. I can easily click this pencil and it's going to let me know I'm leaving Canva and it's going to take me over to JotForm. So from here you can see we have their name, their Christmas list, and something that they don't need more of. Now if there's something that we want to add over on the left hand side we can choose add element and we can drag and drop something in. Again, we can ask them to give us their signature if you want, but literally nothing is off limits from the basic JotForm interface. On the right hand side, we can choose our form designer. And if you want, we can change the page color, the form color to make this fit our design. But one thing you wanna make sure is that these questions are required because you don't want to have someone filling this out and be missing information. So I'm going to choose the properties option. I'm gonna make all of these required. And we can see that red asterisk there denoting that. And I think we are good. I'm going to go ahead and head back over to my design. And I want to show you, I'm going to go to the very first slide and I'm going to click on my Christmas wish list. And you can see that it's adding it to the very first page, but I don't want it there. The great thing about this is we can see that it's chosen. We have the dots in the corners. I'm going to go ahead and do command X to cut that specific piece. I'm going to head over to my second one and then I'm going to command V to paste it in here, which is very nice. So it follows the same rules of Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and put this exactly where I want it. You can see it looks exactly the same as it was over in JotForm, but let's go ahead and give this a test. I'm going to share and I'm going to present this as a website. I'm going to go ahead and publish. All right, let's go ahead and view our website. All right, since I did this in presentation mode, I can see that my mouse is an arrow to go to the right. So I'm just going to click to advance to the next slide and see we have our form embedded directly on this slide. Let's go ahead and give this a test. Let's fill it out. And something I don't need more of mugs. All right, we can submit. We can see thank you. Your submission has been received. Now, if I jump over into our JotForm account, I'm going to switch over to our tables. And we can see his information there, his Christmas list, and something that he does not want more of. And it really is as simple as that. Now back over in Canva, something I definitely want to point out is if you have feedback, you can always give us some feedback right down here at the bottom. You click on give feedback and give us your feedback. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm's app within Canva, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.